Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's that time of the week again where I come and I check in for all the expenses that I had within the weeks. And I'm excited because I got a cash envelope stuffing in between so I didn't feel as broke. So I was kind of spending a little this past weekend. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to opening up my August overview over here. And I'm just I'm excited because... I've been feeling broke and now that I had a cash stuffing envelope I feel like it's not that bad anymore <laughs> but I probably talk to me again on Friday and let's see how I'm feeling oh my god so I'm gonna go ahead and check in for um, the 12th or the 11th to the 18th I think I'm gonna do that or I think I had no spend and I'm doing the 12th to the 18th already so anyhow I'm gonna go ahead in here and this is my um, budget keeper wallet I'll link it down below and I basically have one two three four um, cash envelope slots that I put my money in I have spending groceries gasoline and laundry and then I have a miscellaneous spot right here for my cards and for like what I put as miscellaneous money that goes back into my account or it goes into um, paying off things in cash like if I have like a spending like if I had boiling crap my money would go in there and not in mix with any of the other slots so um I clearly have a ton a ton of receipts in all of my um nonsense and this is the bad thing about having a wallet is that when I'm at the store I grab it and I just shove it in any pocket so sometimes my money does get mixed up so I just want to keep that in mind with you guys and just bear with me because um I grab, I like do this, and I stuff it, and I close it, and then it, it money gets mixed up, which is the only bad thing that I find about this wallet, but nonetheless, I'm pretty happy that I switched to a wallet, and I'm no longer in cash envelopes, just because it makes my life so much easier, and I don't feel so... I don't know if there's like an embarrassment towards having cash envelopes, but I just don't like taking out an envelope anymore. Like I want to be able to feel like a straight up adult that can handle her money in a wallet and this just makes me feel like it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my um, budget expense stickers and we'll get started. So these are my expense stickers. I don't sell these anymore. I used to, but if you're interested in expense tracking stickers, I do recommend a Romina or Simply Cami. They offer them on their shops and they're pretty inexpensive. So if you're interested in having um, expense trackers, check their shops out. Don't hesitate to look them up. They're really beautiful stickers as well, but I'm going to use mine. And the first receipt that I have is for AutoZone. Um, I had, I bought my boyfriend a present. So, he, if you guys saw, he has a new car. If you haven't watched the vlog, I'll link it right here. And the thing is, with the summer and this heat in LA, it gets so hot and he has leather seats. And every time I get in, it burns my legs, it burns my back, it burns my arms. He can bar barely grab the stick shift knob because it's so hot. So what I went in him did... I got him a present for his car, which basically is for me because it'll help me when I'm in his car. I got him a black matte sunshade for his car and it was $17.51. So I'm going to go ahead and put AutoZone. And I'm just going to put $18. I spent $18 on my boo because you know what? I want to be able to sit in his car and not burn my ass off. And I want him to be able to drive his car and not be like, you know, burning his hands trying to like steer or like shift his car into gear. And that I believe was on Saturday. Let me see. This was on the 18th. So it was on Sunday actually. I went and go ahead and did that and I'm really happy. He enjoyed it. I actually got this idea for my sister. She, her husband bought it for her, I believe, and she's just been loving it. And she's like, oh my God, it's the best thing ever. So I was like, okay, that's great. And then next thing that I did, that's it. This is the only one for um, that, um, for that, uh, receipt that I have in my spending so that's great I thought I had more but they were not part of it they were like mixed receipts from um other areas of my wallet which is they belong to my grocery ones they belong to my gasoline ones. It was a, it's a hot mess so I'm gonna check in later for that so now I'm gonna have I have a couple of grocery ones over here 
and I tend to cheat once in a while you guys I tend to use my cash envelopes for its undesignated area so I think this time I went to Winchell's and this was for groceries and groceries is green um, when I run low on my cash envelopes I start seeking out other areas where I'm not really using up my money and most of it has come from groceries or gasoline so I went to Winchell's and I believe this day I was feeling like shit I think this day they announced that um, we had 12 hour mandatory shifts and I was gonna be the first one as like a guinea pig to try it out and I was super unhappy but um, I kind of weaseled my way out of it you know <laughs> Because I'm not certified and I have so many doctor's appointments with workers comp that I was just like, you know what, I don't think I'm the best person. So nonetheless, we agreed that I was not the perfect person to start 12 hour shifts. So um, my 12 hour shifts start next week, which I'm still not excited about, but I was feeling like total crap. So I told my boyfriend, let's go out and get some food and um, coffee and a donut. And it was $12. And this was on the 13th, I believe. It was just a poop day. That's what it was. When you see me going to wind chills, it's because I feel like complete shit. And I need something to lift my spirits. It, it felt like that day everything was going wrong. So that's what happened there. And it's not a personal spending category. It's groceries. But I was just like, I don't care. This is the only envelope before the cash stuffing happened that I had money in. And then um, yesterday, which was the worst experience of my life, I went to the grocery store and I bought groceries and it came out to be $68. And it was the worst experience of my life because a kid smacked or hit or run over my injured foot and it caused it to swell up and have the most horrible pain ever that I sobbed for like 30 minutes, I swear I did. And um, I didn't go to work today because I have like this big ball of tissue nerve or bruise that happened and I can barely walk and I'm limping. So that's what happened yesterday and I spent $68 at the supermarket and I just, I just gotta say, you know, just watch your kids. Don't let them maneuver giant carts if they're like this tiny little thing because they think they're race cars and people's injured bodies that you may not be aware of can be at risk. So that is everything that I did for groceries. Nothing else. Not gonna lie, I felt like buying some damn tequila and I didn't because the lines were so huge and I wanted to buy hot Cheetos and I didn't. I actually ended up buying a lot of meat. Um, I bought a lot of things to make like a soup so I bought like celery I bought um, um, carrots what else did I buy I bought a bunch of uh, squash potatoes corn and like at the end I got um, meat which I then transferred into freezer bags and froze them so I'm pretty happy about that well bathed it because I was just crying my heart out yesterday because of the pain I was in so yeah next we're gonna go ahead and look into gasoline gasoline has been an interesting now I know I pumped gas there we go an interesting envelope I've been pulling from so I again <laughs> was short on some of my other envelopes and um, I decided to pull money from here for food for work um, I was running late, I think. No, I wasn't running late. I was just hungry. We had an early meeting and I had not eaten. And Tacos Gavidan is literally like a block away from my job. So I pulled up to the um, drive-thru and I knew that the only envelope I had that had money was the gasoline. So I just used it for that. So um, I ended up spending $16. And I ended up buying... A torta and tacos so I ate the torta right before work I was eating it in the parking lot and then for lunch I had the tacos and $16 lasted me for the entire day for food and that happened here and I used my gas money for it so I do cheat a little bit in between my cash envelopes but whatever next I actually did pump gas I 
pumped gas for $3.39, which rarely happens nowadays. When I saw those prices, I pulled up so quick that I was like, I don't even need gas, but I'm going to, you know, pump gas. And I spent $15 at, what, is it mobile? I think it's mobile. And yeah, the gas prices are back up. They're at $3.79 and $3.69, so $3.39 was a really good deal that I could not pass up. Even though I don't, didn't need gas. I was just like, screw it, I'm going to fill up right now. So that happened here. And it was great. And I'm all out of blue ones, so I got to print one out for next week. And then last but not least, I did have laundry, and I don't think I went laundry. Yeah, I didn't. I think after this day, I haven't gone back, which is bad because now we're out of clothes again and now we got to go do laundry today. But anywho, we're not going to worry about that. Now, this is the most difficult part, the weekly check-in, because my money might be all over the place or it might not, but we're going to figure it out. So for groceries, I did have a cash envelope stuffing within this um, period. So. Uh, for groceries, I did add $80. For gasoline, I added $70. Spending got $30. Laundry got $15. And of course, we don't do unbudgeted. So for groceries this time around, I spent... Let me get my calculator up. It's so weird when I see the time and I'm like, I'm supposed to be at work. But you know what? No. My foot can't even handle pain right now. 12 and 68 So I had a total expense of $80 this week which is basically my cash envelope stuffing, but I did have $18 left in it. So I'm hoping there is $18 there because sometimes your girl can just move her money around. So this is all the money I have in here, plus a bunch of change that I'm gonna throw in my change jar, which at the end of each month, I like go through and see if I can like deposit anything to my bank account if I have like full rolls. So here I have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. I do. I'm surprised. I thought my money might be mixed up, but no. Groceries is correct. Groceries has $18 remaining in it. So basically whatever I stuffed in it, I spent. Nice. Next, I have gasoline. So for gasoline, I ended up spending... So let me check off groceries because those are good to go. For gasoline, I spent $16 on food and $15 on actual gas. So I spent $31 in gasoline nonsense. And I had $40 back then and I added and I added $70. So let me see if I had $40 and I added $70 and I spent $31. I'm supposed to have $79 in there, which is a lot of money for gas. Well, $10 more. $9 more. No, that's groceries. That's to gasoline. And the only reason why I have changes here is because I went to Tacos Gabilan. Like, the only reason why. Alright, so I'm supposed to have $79. So, 20, 30, 40, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. I'm short like $5 somehow. Let me see. Let's count this again. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. Yep, no idea what happened. $74. I'm going to go ahead and say $5 got lost in between, okay? We're going to find its um, owner maybe in one of these. I'm guessing it's in here, but we'll see and next off we have spending but my camera's overheating so hopefully it's cooled down but okay so yeah gasoline let me check those off done and done and then the last that i have to well the last two is spending so spending let me grab my calculator i had 18 dollars of an expense so well, i don't know why i tried to even math that <laughs> you guys i'm so weird all right, so I had $18 of expense, which was Bay's present. So let me go over here and see. I had $4. I added $30 this week, and I spent $18. So I'm supposed to have $16 in that category. So I'm going to go ahead and open it, and here's my spending. Oh, and by the way, I ended up getting like 
a gift card in the mail for $27.53 of some like weird lawsuit class action. So I'm pretty happy about that. I haven't like $27 to spend at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, or um, whatever store. So I'm pretty excited. I got some spending monies. I'm supposed to have. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do this again. So I had four and I added 30 minus 18, I said. I'm supposed to have 16. So here we go. Let me count money. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I have 21 dollars in here. So yes, I'm guessing that the missing money from the gasoline should be in here. So I'm supposed to have 16. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is going to go into my spending slot. And then I believe I'm supposed to have 79, right, on my gasoline. So for gasoline, I had 40, and then I added 70, then I minus 31. I'm supposed to have 79. So if I have 74 right now in it, 75, 76, 77, 78. Did I count that right? 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. No, I didn't. Clearly, I don't know how to count. So yeah, so this money is actually in here. So... I do actually have $79 and here I have $16. So, yeah, I'm telling you, I mix my money around because I just shove everything in there. So this is going to go into the gasoline pile because that needs to always be in there. And then for laundry, I didn't do laundry, so laundry is at zero, but I did add $15 to it and I had six in there, so I should have 21 So let me go up in here and let's do 5, 10, 15, 20 and then the $1 in quarters that's in there. So yeah, that laundry is correct. So I think if I get paid, no, I will actually stuff it because I'm going to go do laundry maybe today with Bing. Um, I'll just sit it out for now and he can do all the hard work while I just sit my butt down so I don't have to be in pain I will be okay for unbudgeted I didn't have any unbudgeted because I did budget out for boiling crab but as you guys saw in my previous one I'm still in the negative because I had an unexpected budget for my PTO sick time so that one is still going to be counted as negative and we're just going to be like that but I'm happy I didn't have any unbudgeted so everything is pretty good you guys so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!